Hi Cancer, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what is your current love situation? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be looking at your energy first, and then I'm going to look at the energy of whoever it is that you are dealing with and connecting with in love. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate that. All right, let's get started with your energy. Spirit, show me the energy of Cancer in regards to love, the current energy of Cancer in regards to love. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Cancer, first card we have is the Nine of Swords in Reverse, the Three of Cups Upright, the Five of Swords Upright, and the Four of Cups Upright. Okay, so I do feel like you're very much up in your head about something. You're overthinking about something here, Nine of Swords. You're trying not to think about something anymore. Um, something has been causing you a lot of headache, a lot of grief. Um, Five of Swords is here, a separation, but this is a bad separation. This is when two people um, fight or argue or have some sort of disagreement and there's this kind of friction between you two, um, and it's not it's not pleasant. Um, it's looking at the three of cups. So for some of you, um, there is a third party situation. You feel like someone has been lying to you about a third party. Or you feel like someone has been, you know, seeing other people or going out with other people or dating other people. Um, or maybe this person is more with their friends than they are with you. Four of Cups shows that you're not happy, you're not satisfied, you're not content with the current state of your of your relationship or uh, yeah of your love life. You feel like um, stuck. You feel like the options that you do have here are are not are not to your liking. None of the options you have are are exciting you or are motivating you or or are giving you happiness. Okay, because um, it does show you do have options. You're just not um, you're just not feeling those options. You know. Yeah. You you already have three cups, but you're not content with those three cups you have. You're thinking of something else that you would rather have instead, you know. But it's like it's not you're not receiving it. It's not being offered to you, and it's um, a little upsetting. It's funny because this person has three cups here, and in this card, the five of swords, there's this lady here looking towards the three of cups. So they're looking at these three cups over here. So it's like, no, I don't, I don't want these three cups. I want these three cups, <laughs> you know? So it's like, there's, you, like I said, there is, you do have something here. It's just not what you want. It's not. Um, it's, it's not what, what would make you happy. Um, yeah. 
And I think it's like you're feeling stuck also with the Four of Swords. Like you're looking more for passion and excitement. Okay, let's see the energy of whoever it is that you're dealing with in love. Spirit, show me the energy of the person Cancer is connecting to and dealing with in love. Thank you. Okay, first card we have page of pentacles in reverse you might be dealing with an earth sign capricorn taurus or virgo we have the high priestess could be a pisces also we have the lovers could be a gemini and we have the seven of pentacles in reverse Well, this person definitely has feelings for you here with the lovers upright. They feel very strongly attracted to you. They feel a strong connection with you. Spiritual connection, karmic connection here. You might be dealing with a soulmate here. However, I do feel like this person is staying away from you with the high priestess. This card is very um, elusive. It's a very mysterious, elusive hidden secretive type of energy so i feel like this person is like staying in the shadows they're staying in the dark um and they're not putting any work or effort into into being with you with the seven of pentacles in reverse the page of pentacles in reverse is behind the high priestess Almost like she's turning her back to this potential, to this opportunity here, um, that this person, this this person is carrying. What they're carrying there is the Ace of Pentacles, which is uh, a, a potential new beginning, a, a new opportunity. Um, so it's like this person is turning their back to this opportunity, and I feel like it's this opportunity to be with you because the lovers is you know a relationship to people here that have a have a special connection but it's almost like they they're disregarding their feelings for you and they're choosing not to acknowledge them mm -hmm. yeah they're choosing not to give it attention um So they're not making any sort of offer here. They're kind of they're they're declining here or rejecting a, an offer here or they're just not they're not considering it. All right, let's go ahead and clarify their energy here starting with the page of pentacles. Spirit, tell me more about the page of pentacles in reverse. Thank you. And we have the Seven of Cups. Wow. And the Page of Wands upright. So this person has options and they're choosing to focus more on their other on the other options they have. Um, even though they do feel such a strong spiritual, emotional, and physical connection to you, it's like they're completely turning their back to that, I feel. And they are talking to someone else. Page of Wands is a card of communication. Seven of Cups. So they are speaking with other people and 
That's why that's also why they're not offering you something here. Clarify the high priestess spirit, thank you. We have the emperor. Oh, okay, they're being very strict here. Yeah. They're being strict with themselves, you know. They're not letting themselves give in to you, you know. Give in to their to their feelings for you. Okay, what else? Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, they're blocking communication. They're avoiding communicating with you because they feel like, you know, that would be temptation, you know, and they're, they're trying to avoid temptation. Clarify the lovers, please. We have Ten of Pentacles upright. And the Five of Swords in reverse. For some of you, this person is waiting for you to return back to them. I mean, for some of you, this person feels like you're the one who should be um, asking them for a second chance. Or you're the one that should be apologizing for some of you. Or you're the one that should be making the decisions. Because I feel like they're not planning on making any decisions here with the high priestess. They're just um, they're just sitting here and waiting. I feel like they're not planning on doing anything. So it's almost like if you don't do anything, then they're just going to move on to someone else. Clarify seven of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, three of wands in reverse. They're not going to wait for you. Interesting. And the Nine of Cups upright, yeah, they're going to be focused on, on on, their own happiness with their own selves. Um, they're okay with being alone, basically. They don't want to put in any work or effort into this. For some of you, this person is carrying a grudge. I don't know. That could be it. It could be that they're upset here about something. But yeah, they have this kind of attitude of, you know, I'm not I'm not going to be talking to you or reaching out to you. Um, you know, if if you want me then you have to be the one to to return back to me. I'm not gonna return back to you. Okay. But the lovers is here, so it, they definitely have very strong feelings for you. But they're, the emperor is also here, so they're not letting themselves give in to their feelings for you. All right, Cancer, that's everything I see. Let me know if this resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, Cancer. Take care.